Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today our lesson is a uh, specific Latin hit. Okay, let's see the note first. So the first one we need to introduce is a Latin hit. Okay, what means of the Latin hit? Latin hit is a one of the heat that we absorbed and also the heat can be released. Okay, at the situation must be constant temperature, then during the chain of the phrase. So that means they're not related with the temperature, then they just want to change about the phrase. Okay, let's see here, we got four of the main uh, phrase we need to explain from this topic. There's a melting, solidification, boiling, and also condensation. Okay, let's see the diagram here. Diagram here, we start with the melting. Okay, melting is from the ice. They want to convert, become the liquid. So from here, they need to absorb the heat. Lah. Absorb the heat. After that, the molecule. When starting, the molecule is closer. They want to break the, uh, the bond. The forces between the molecule become far away a little bit, become the liquid. So they need to absorb so the heat. So this one absorb heat, we call it as a latent heat absorb. So it's reverse from the liquid. You want to make it become ice again. So from this one situation, we call it as a solidification. So this one is a latent heat released. Then from the liquid, we want to boil it, become the gas. So absorb heat again. So latent heat of the absorb. Another one, from the gas, you want to go back to liquid. So this one called condensation, latent heat released. And the one more, they jump the step, that one is from the ice, straight forward become the gas. So this one process we call sublimation, also is a latent heat to absorb it. And then we go to the second part, there's a specific latent heat. Okay, specific latent heat is a uh, definition here. The amount of the heat required to change 1 kg of the object. Yeah, after that, without changes in the temperature. So that means they're related with the energy. After that, they want to change 1 kg of the object. That is not related with the temperature. Okay, let's see the equation. So Q is stand for the energy heat energy absorbed or the say heat energy released then the mass is the mass of the material then the l is a specific latent heat so if you want to find the latent heat should be equation q over the m so the unit is a joule per kilograms okay let's see the situation from the solid become the liquid you got special name eh? from the solid become the liquid the process i know there's a melting but when they say about the latent heat they call specific latent heat of fusion okay there's a lf okay then we're going to see this next one then the liquid become the gas okay from the liquid become the gas we got another name they call latent heat of the uh, webalization so there's a lv okay webalization okay different thing but we know these two situations sure is a uh, absorb the heat or release the heat either one so when solid become liquid sure is the absorb heat from the liquid become the gas also is the absorbed okay, let's see the next one we go to explain latent heat of fusion okay latent heat of the fusion that's a solid heated after that the molecule will start to vibrate strongly when the solid they reach to the melting point okay when reach a melting point, the vibration becomes strong, higher strong, extreme becomes strong. So after that, the link will begin give away. That means the molecule link. Okay, one molecule, another one molecule, they got link. They want to start to vibrate. They want to break it. So the extra energy is needed. So from this one situation, you need to using the extra heat energy to overcome the forces to separate the molecule. So that's why the temperature keep constant. So for this one situation, the heat we're using to break the, the forces between the molecule, we call it latent heat of fusion. So the question we ask, why the temperature is never increased? So the answer is because the latent heat of fusion used to overcome the intermolecule binding forces. Okay, then go to the next one. That's a latent heat of verbalization. So for this one situation, it's a liquid. Okay, liquid, uh, the molecules are still close to each other. 
but they really become weak already but they still got link so from here as the liquid you further to heat it kinetic energy will be increases so from here at the boiling point until the boiling point molecule they will start to break to free to each other become the gas so from this one situation that means that changes the phase the temperature become constant so the energy is needed they want to overcome the remaining link that's a core latent heat of the verbalization so from here the question also the same why the temperature never increasing because during this one process latent heat of verbalization used to overcome intermolecule binding forces so that's why they never increase about the temperature okay, then we go to the heating curve okay let's see the heating curve then just like the staircase okay we're going to see the part increasing okay the part increasing you can see the temperature keep increase when the temperature keep increase that means not related with the latent heat okay now we're going to see the a b c d and d e these three situations sure just got one of the matter only because you never changes the phrase so we find it a b is a solid then the c d is a liquid then the last one the f e f is a gas okay so for this one situation that's just using specific heat capacity okay now we want to see it's a part b part b you can see there's a boiling point so that means when the the solid you go to heat it when the active to the boil, uh, melting point so the solid will start to melt so along the b to c you can find there's a constant constant means the temperature never increase so for this one situation the latent heat will take place so this one latent heat we call it as a latent heat of fusion okay until c melting complete so that means b to c still solid and liquid until c melting complete or become liquid okay when they become liquid ready temperature keep increasing until achieve to the boiling point so there's a d okay until d to e can you see constant again constant again means the temperature never increase now the liquid is start to boil start to boil means they want to change the phrase liquid to the gas okay until e okay now all the liquid complete to changes become gas now the boiling complete so along the e until f there is a gas okay, now we're going to see the explanation for the every point t1 we call it melting point t2 there's a boiling point qr and st the temperature remain constant okay qr and st constant so reason because the heat using to overcome the forces attraction that hold to each other then the heat qr we call it latent heat of fusion then the st is a latent heat of verbalization okay, now we go to the cooling curve okay let's see the cooling curve cooling curve is a condensation point and also the freezing point okay now we're going to see the condensation point okay p q then r s then t u this three part is a temperature drop so temperature drop is not related with the latent heat okay that just is a one phrase at this one situation we go to check p q that's a gas r s that's a liquid then the t u becomes solid okay now we're going to see the flat one when the temperature becomes constant so at the Q, that means when you at the condensation point, the gas will start to condense. When the gas want to start to condense, that means they want to convert become the liquid. Lah. So QR sure is a mixture. Now it's a mix between the gas and also liquid. So from here you find it, latent heat of verbalization here is release the heat. When they release the heat means they want to join back the bonding so until r condensation complete r now all is a liquid so when they become liquid temperature drop a bit until s s is a freezing point now the liquid they want to start to freeze when they want to start to freeze means st the situation must be changes the phrase 
When it changes the phrase, this one situation is a two phrase together, liquid and solid. So until the part T, freezing complete, means now all is a solid already. Now solid already means the temperature keep dropping. So T to U becomes solid until room temperature also is a solid. Okay, so the ST, the situation take place is a latent heat of fusion, also is a heat released. Cooling curve, latent heat. Now we explain, T1 is a condensation point, then T2 we stand it as a freezing point, and the 3 is a room temperature. QR, ST should be flat. So this is a situation temperature unchanged. Why? Because the energy released to the surrounding because they want to formation the bond, join back the bond. Okay, after that, the latent heat of releasing from the QR, we call it latent heat of vaporization. Then the heat energy released during the ST, we call it as a latent heat of the, uh, this one is a vaporization, another one is a fusion. So remember, when I just mentioned vaporization, this one is a release. Then the fusion also is a released okay now we go to the uh, the definition for the airy latent heat okay first one there's a fusion okay one means of the latent heat of fusion can you see the diagram from the ice they convert become the water okay the temperature stay so that means the definition you must mention without changes in the temperature so the first one, amount of heat required to change 1 kg of the substance from the solid become the liquid phrase without change in the temperature. So another situation is the latent heat of verbalization. 100 degrees Celsius for the water convert to 100 degrees Celsius become the steep. So this one situation also constant temperature. So we just stop amount of the heat required to change 1 kg substance from the liquid become the gaseous. Then you must say without changes temperature. Okay, now we're going to see the latent heat. Fusion is this one for the ice. This one is for the water. For the water is normally is a big enough, bigger compared to the fusion. Because the gas you uh, the liquid you want to convert become the gas, you need to overcome one more thing. There's an atmospheric pressure. The ice to the liquid actually no need because that's a different phrase. Ice is a solid, liquid, water is a liquid. So gas is not related. But when the liquid you want to convert become gas, that means you need to overcome the forces, then you also need to overcome atmospheric pressure. So that's why the latent heat become, uh, verbalization become longer. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, so this part is a uh, calculation. They introduce the uh, latent heat. So from here, Q equal to ML. Now we need to write for the LV and also LF, the unit should be the same, Joule per kilograms. Okay, now we go to solve this one question. Okay, this one question, they ask you, what is the quantity of the heat required to melt 2 kg of the ice at 0 degrees Celsius? So that means the degree Celsius is never changed. Keep 0, but... Uh, they give you the latent heat of fusion, so that means they want to find is a total heat. Lah. So we just write the equation Q equal to ML. Okay. Then after that, you just apply the M is how many? That's a 2 kilograms. Okay, the L you just put 3.34 times 10 power of 5. So the unit for lower Q is a joule. So from here, I find it the answer should be 6.68 times 10 power of 5. So this one should be the answer. Okay, just straightforward apply. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, example two. How much energy has to be removed from the 4 kg of the water at 20 degrees Celsius to produce a block of the ice? So can you see this one question that changes phrase? So we write the info first. Okay, when starting they say water. Okay, water. We just write water. Okay, this one water is a 4 kilograms. After that, there's a 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, they want to produce become one of the block ice. Straightforward, they want to go to the ice. 
then the ice also four kilograms up because the the mass is we assume never release then after that the temperature becomes zero so can you see these two citation they change the phrase and also change the temperature also is it so from here we cannot mix together and do it we need to separate one by one so we go and start with the water can okay, we start with the water first okay water okay there's a 20 degrees celsius okay now either you change the phrase either you change the temperature if i say i change the phrase okay i say straightforward become ice temperature keep constant so is it logic or not i think there's a not logic we don't have any ice 20 degrees celsius is it so from here we cannot use it so from here we need to change the temperature first okay don't change the phrase first so from here we go to change the temperature so means there's still water okay i make the water drop until zero degrees celsius okay water zero degrees celsius yes the situation when they start to freeze okay now they continue uh, now you can change the phrase already they become the ice zero degrees celsius so that means now they uh, involved for three two type of the energy changes first one q equal mc data okay this one is a m1 q1 okay another one is a q2 the involved is a ml fusion so from here you want to find the total heat q must be equal q1 plus q2 so you need to do the calculation okay so from here i just show you what's the straight the answer the sub answer you go to calculate by yourself make sure you press the calculator is correct lah. so the answer is 1.672 times 10 power of the 6 joule okay so this one is a final answer okay then we go to the next page okay example three okay in your notes also got lah. so we go to follow this question this one question got a little bit long because they start ice starting is a ice 15 negative 15 some more okay finally they want to become the steam so we one step by one step so the first one i want to make it become ice first zero degree celsius after that i go become the water water zero degree celsius so the changes can you see there's an alternate when you change about the mc data the next one sure is a, a latent heat after latent heat sure is a mc data so from here i change the phrase already the next one sure is a the phrase become constant already then you increase the temperature become 100 degree celsius okay now the temperature you change already the next one sure is a latent heat so from here i still 100 degree celsius but now I become the steep. Okay, so this one is a step. We got how many step here? First one, Q1 is a ML, uh, MC data. So the Q2 is a ML. Okay, the Q3 is a MC data again. Then the last one, the Q4 is a ML. So you just plus together. That's a long method. Uh. Q equal q1 plus q2 plus q3 and also plus q4 so the final answer i get it here there's a 1.218 times 10 power of the 7 joule okay so make sure you know they give all the info you must use it so that means here they're in both for the four type of the energy changes Okay, then you see that this one experiment this one is a one experiment of the experiment in your pks so i need you to do it you need to copy all the things follow just follow the textbook then the diagram you need to draw the last one you just empty the result because when you just come back we need to do we need to get the result so just copy like the 4.3 from the textbook first one you want to determine the specific latent heat of the fusion Okay, we want to find the fusion of the ice another one is the latent heat of verbalization of the water so the first one let's see the experiment we need to using the heater okay uh, the filter funnel 
the vehicle electronic balance power supply stop watch and also read the stat okay we're using some eyes first one the beaker of the experiment set okay we separate by two set one we call experiment set another one we call control set on the electronic balance respectively now you reset the reading of the electronic balance make it become zero okay set up follow the diagram initial both uh, the beaker and the electronic balance are not below their respective filter funnel when starting we never put there okay now we're going to see the diagram okay one beaker on the electronic balance after that above retort stand uh, clamp the filter funnel then inside got glass cube then you put in the heater into the glass cube okay another one also same just a different is the second one we call it experiment set the join with power supply control set is without joining power supply so from here you just refer your textbook okay switch on the immersion heater and also the uh, heater immersion you want to set uh, switch on must be the experiment one uh, because the control set we do no need to switch on okay when the water just drip out from the filter funnel at a fixed rate okay place the beaker okay and also the electronic balance respectively below the filter funnel so when the water just come out you put the beaker and also the electronic balance below we're going to measure the mass so the time taken you set by yourself maybe after 10 minutes you go to record the mass of the water from the control and also from the experiment set so experiment set will label as m1 the control set will label by m2 so from here sure the m1 is more than m2 because the M1, you plus one more power supply, then you got heat some more. So the M2 control set the ice, the melt because of the uh, surrounding heat. So from here, the control set, they want to uh, add here. Reason is later we need to minus. We need to minus the M2 mass because we need the we need one to know the mass just melt by the heater. We don't want the the ice also melt by the surrounding heat so from here this one is a calculation they just want to find the uh, latent heat of fusion of the ice they do want the surrounding heat to make the ice to melt so they need to minus okay so from here the last one you switch off then you take out your immersion heater then you read what is the power from the immersion heater suppose they got labor okay this one is the result so you need to copy this one table okay what is the reading we just empty because we don't know control set label is m2 experiment set is m1 so this one is a power this one is a heating time that's a 10 minutes so for this one experiment what we need to assume no heat loss that means all the heat from the heater they will absorb by the ice after that melt so specific latent heat of fusion how to count it l equal pt over m1 minus m2 m1 is a uh, the experiment one okay it's experiment one then the m2 is a control one so that means we don't want the control one we just want the heat melt by the heater okay so this one is the uh, m1 okay we go to right first my pen okay this one is a uh, experiment one this one is a uh, control okay so finally the m1 minus m2 your reading is compared to the actual there's a small why small because m1 you lost so many because during the actual experiment, they will prevent the heat loss. When you do it inside the lab, suppose you lost so many heat. So M1 minus M2, you get it as a one small number compared to the actual. Maybe you get 70. Then the actual, the scientists, they do, they get uh, 90. So that means the mass you lost. Then the latent heat later, you get the answer will become bigger than the actual. Because latent and mass is inversely proportional. When you find it, the mass becomes smaller, then the latent heat is higher. So for the standard, there's a 33,000, is it? Just now we find it, the 
336,000. So you find the answer here normally is uh, bigger than the actual. So the reason is the heat loss. So conclusion is the specific latent heat of fusion of the eye that is a one constant number. Okay, we cannot change the constant number. That's a fixed one. For this one experiment, we just want to find out only. Okay, now we're going to see the discussion. Okay, let's see this one discussion. The purpose of the control set. Okay, just now I told you why we want the control set. So the control set is, they want to determine the mass of the melting ice from where? From the surrounding. So the immersion heater must fully emerge into the ice cube to reduce the heat loss. Stop wall is not start simultaneously when the immersion heater is switched on. Because the immersion heater, they require the time before reach to the steady temperature. So that means you need to wait. When you put start, then you wait maybe 2 minutes or 3 minutes, then you start. At this point, the rate of the melting of the ice will be steady. So the value of the specific latent heat of fusion, the L, obtained in the experiment is normally higher than the standard. Reason? Because part of the heat supplied by the heater lost to the surrounding. So this one is the reason why we always find the answer is a bigger number. Okay, for the second experiment, there is a latent heat also, but this one is a verbalization. Okay, verbalization means they want to heat the water, become the gas. So from here, they're using the immersion heater, 500, power supply, beaker, electronic balance, and stopwatch. So from here, they add tissue paper. They want to wrap the beaker, prevent the heat loss. So set up, switch on the immersion heater, and wait until water boil. So when the, water, uh, when the water just start to boil, then you start your stopwatch. Okay, start your stopwatch. At the same time, record the reading from the electronic balance, that's the M1. After some time, maybe 5 minutes, you record read again the reading from the electronic balance, that's the M2. So normally M1, M2, which one should be good? Must be M1 bigger because before you hit. After you hit for 5 minutes, maybe some of the water already boiled evaporate become gas so that means the mass will be reduced so finally switch off read again what's the heater power then we're going to see the table result again m1 m2 normally m1 is more than the m2 then t is the time taken power heater assumption also same no heat loss all the heat supplied by the heater absorbed by the water to uh, to boil become the gas. So specific latent heat of verbalization of water, still using the same formula. Okay, M1 minus M2. Normally M1 minus M2, your answer become smaller. Again, the same the same problem because the heat loss. You find it becomes smaller, so your latent heat of verbalization is a big number. So from here conclusion, latent heat of verbalization for the water is a constant number. So you can see some discussion here. Why does the control set need to prepare? Okay, the answer is water does not evaporate easily by the heat surrounding in the short periods. So that means normally we set by the control set. Uh, another one we no need to set. You see the experiment A, we set control set, is it? Experiment B, why no need? Because the water that does not evaporate easily, ma? because the ice, yes, just a little bit heat, that will melt. Okay, but this one situation, water, a little bit heat, heat, then not yet boil. That will take some time. So the heat surrounding just short period, that means we no need using the control set. Okay, number two, they say given the specific latent heat of fusion, 3 times 10 power of 5, compare the value specific latent heat of the fusion of the ice obtained from the A with the value given. Explain the difference between the two value. Okay, this one is the uh, actual value. Then, this one is your calculation, is it? Okay, this one is the calculation. Then you compare with the actual value. So normally not the same. Why? So the answer here, I also explained for you just now. Specific latent heat of fusion is less than the specific verbalization. When the liquid boil, 
the heat absorbed is used to complete to break the bond between the particle also uh, you see this one got extra also against the atmospheric pressure when the gaseous weapon expand into the atmosphere so this one is the differences okay compared to the verbalization and also the uh, fusion okay so we're going to see the next given latent heat verbalization this one compare the verbalization you obtain why different answer okay the value for the specific latent heat of verbalization water obtained in experiment is normally higher to the standard value why they normally higher because part of the heat supplied by the heater lost to the surrounding so this one is the reason why we always get the higher uh, latent heat suggest the way how to increase your accuracy so the experiment must be carried out in the black container remember black container they will maintain the heat after that to prevent the heat loss to the surrounding this is one of the way lah. although you wrap by tissue paper but surrounding maybe got wind so that means you need to put inside the container okay prevent the heat loss and also you change the color become black color Okay, then we go and see the example four from your exercise. Okay, let's see this one question. They provide heater. Okay, they're using the heater. So if they're using the heater, then you must using the unit must be, uh, not unit. The formula must be PT. Okay, so we write first. Okay, we check where's the pen. Okay, so we just write PT. Okay, used to boil the water. What is the time taken required to reduce the mass of the water by 4 kilograms after the water has been reached to its boiling point? So boiling point, we're using the verbalization equal ml. So this one is a for 800. Then the time taken, we don't know. Then the mass is a 4 kg. Then you apply the latent power of 6 okay finally what's the time taken the time taken here is a uh, 11,300 second okay this one is a time taken to reduce the mass for 4 kg okay now we go to example 5 okay, example 5 they show the graph okay let's see here there's 0 0.5 kilogram of the solid is heated by the 100 watt heater okay 100 that means pt again okay they want to find the specific latent heat so again there's a ml so p is 100 okay we need to find out which part is a latent heat okay latent heat must be the temperature constant so this part is a latent heat okay this part is a latent heat so the time taken is how long so you let's see here this one is how many? This one is a thousand and fifty. Uh, thousand and fifty, yeah. This one is a three hundred. Okay, so thousand and fifty minus three hundred, I get it. That's a seven hundred and fifty. Okay, then the mass zero point five. Okay, I need to find what is the latent heat. So from here, I get it. The answer is a one point five times ten power of five joule per kilograms okay so this one is the answer for example five okay we got some some example question i think not inside your uh, notes you can refer here the water is boiling as three uh three thousand six hundred watt electric catheter after that we don't know the time how long does it take for 0 0.12 kg okay 0 0.12 kg to boil so we just put 2.26 times 10 power of 6 okay then you need to find what is the time taken so from here we need to do the calculation ah. so 0 0.12 times 10 power of 2.26 times 10 power of 6 okay 3600 divided by this answer so I get it 0 0.013 okay, 0 0.0 one three three 
second. Okay, this one is a time taken. So you check, huh? I don't know the answer is it correct or not. You got problem, you can tell me. Okay, after that, we continue to the next one. Okay, they will answer a story. My answer wrong again. Okay, we check again. Maybe the calculation is 0 0.12 times 2.26 times 10 power of 6. Okay, then divide by 3600. Oh yeah, 75. Okay, so I redo again. So I need to erase all the answer here. Oh, no, just erase the final answer. So no, I just show you the answer here again. Okay, pretty you go M M L the L V 3600. After 0.12, so this one is a uh, 2.26. So the final answer 75.33 second. Okay, now we're going to see the changes of the phrase of the water. Okay, let's see the first one. There's an ice. Okay, the ice, when they melt, the ice molecule, they will absorb the latent heat of fusion, causing it to change from the solid, become the liquid. So the center one, they want is a boiling. When the water just boil, then the water molecule, they will absorb again, latent heat of verbalization, then causing the water change from liquid, become the gas. Okay, now we go back to the reverse back. Now the water cool down again. Then the water vapor, they will condense. The water vapor molecule release latent heat of the verbalization, then causing the water vapor to change, become the gas to liquid again. So this one is a three different of the changes, but they're still using the latent heat. The application. Okay, first one, we can see the application. There's uh, drinking water, uh, the drinking hand drinks you keep inside the ice box. So when you keep there, you find it, although the ice already melt, but you can see all the drink still keep in low temperature. Why? So from here, we're using the latent heat to explain. When the ice is melt, okay, what happened for the ice to melt? When the ice to melt, that means they absorb the heat, is it? Absorb the surrounding heat. This one heat, we call it latent heat of fusion. When it just absorb, that means surrounding the heat become low. So that means now the drink temperature, they keep in low temperature. Because surrounding no heat already, you already absorbed. So that means now the drink, they can keep in the low temperature. Let's see the sweat thing. Sweat is an evaporation. So all the surface liquid, there's a sweat thing. When it just evaporate, so evaporate means the situation is to remove the heat from your body. They want to absorb the heat from your body. After that, become the gas. Become the gas, evaporate, go up. So when they just absorb the heat from your body, so you find it, your body become cool down after the exercise. So from here, we cannot say the body temperature drop. Huh? Body temperature always constant. What? Just the heat release from your body. Okay, and the third one is a steam food. They're using the steamer. So from here, they're using, uh, they receive the large amount of energy when the latent heat of verbalization, steam, release. So the first one at the bottom, they're using the water. Water, when they just heat it, after that, they become the uh, gas, is it? So for the steamer, must be the enclosed system. So when it just become the gas, then you close again, the gas will uh, condensation back become the, the liquid, is it? So from here, you find it, the receive the large amount of latent heat of verbalization steam. So when they become the steam, they will absorb the heat, become the steam. When the steam want the condensation back, become the liquid, they release the heat. When they release the heat, where they go? Go to the foot. So that means the foot faster to steam up. Okay, then this one is one of the cooling system in the refrigerator. Okay, refrigerator, they use the cooling effect from the evaporation. Okay, let's see the, during the circulation of the cooling agent, heat absorbed from inside the refrigerator, released to the outside. So normally you fire your refrigerator behind, they produce a hot gas. Okay, now we start with the first one, there's a compressor. They're from the behind one, they just like the fan. 
Okay, the compressor, the cooling agent, that's a gas. Then to increase the pressure and its temperature. Now they go up. When they go up, the heat will be released. So this part, you find it, the hot gas to come out. Okay, the heat released in the condensation cooling agent. Because just now it's a gas. Now the cooling agent gas release latent heat during the condensation. So from here, they want to condense condense the gas now the gas when it just condense they become the liquid so now the cooling agent become the liquid they flow in through the expansion valve when they become liquid they will flow up flow up through the expansion valve where they go they go to the freezer part okay during the freezer part because all the heat they will rise up until to the freezer part heat will be absorbed Okay, absorbed through the cooling agent liquid. Okay, when it just absorbed by the cooling uh, cooling agent liquid, that will evaporate. Okay, absorbed evaporate. So in the evaporator cooling agent, the liquid evaporator and absorb the latent heat from the inside the refrigerator. So after that, liquid absorb the heat. What happened? They will heat up again. When they heat up, they become the gas. Now the cooling agent liquid, when it just come out, they become gas. They flow up from the evaporator to the compressor again, then they go downwards. To the compressor again, now it's very, very hot. Then the gas will go down to compressor, then increase the temperature, then heat up again, heat release. When the heat release, the condensation back. So this one situation will be circular. So all the heat from the refrigerator, they all will convert, go to the backwards, then become hot gas. Okay, so the food you put in, then later you find we are cool down, is it? So this one situation is they until thermal equilibrium. So your food later the temperature must be follow the temperature of the refrigerator. All the heat that will absorb it. Okay, then we got another example question. That's a uh, Electronic balance, they go to heat using the immersion heater. Okay, now the immersion heater, they provided 480 watt. Okay, then they use to map the ice in the container. There's a 120 second. The reading of the electronic balance, they show is 0 0.172 kilograms. So the first one, what is the mass of the ice that had melt during the heating periods? Okay, they ask you how many mass already uh, already melt during this one heating period so we're going to see that uh, the whole system they won't say anything they just say the reading of the electronic balance decreases reading decreases the meaning is what the meaning is same like the the ice melt so that's why the reading will be dropped is it so that means they drop by 0 0.172 mean this was the ice already melt during this period so we find it the answer is uh, so the A, I just write here, the answer for the A. We don't have any calculation. So I change become the pen first. Red color. Okay, the A, we just write the answer is 0 0.172 kilograms. Okay, this one is a map, the eyes to map. Okay, number two is calculate the specific latent heat of fusion. So we're using the heater lah. PT equal ML. So 480 times taken 120. So the mass is 0 0.172. Then you find what's the LF fusion. So I get it the answer. 3.35 times 10 power of 5. Joule per kilograms. Okay, Joule per kilograms. Okay, this one is another one. What is the amount of the heat supplied by the water heater? Change 0 0.75 kg water 30 become the steep. So same thing, you need to write the equation. First one, water. 30 degrees Celsius. You want to become 100, is it? So we cannot straightforward. You go to the water first, then 100 degrees Celsius. Then you become the steep. So this one situation, they involve for two times. First one, MC data. Another one is a ML. So we plus together, we see the Q is how many? So the first one, I show you the 
drawing first step second step then after that we combine so we plus together two type of the heat i find it as 1.92 times 10 power of 6 joule okay so this one is a calculation if you're not mistaken this one question is from your textbook well you can refer that okay this one is another example question from the textbook also they ask you explain how the food can be heated so we say about the latent heat lah, the water you want to make it verbalization after they convert so from here they say water has a large specific latent heat of the verbalization this property that enable the steam to be used to cooking by a method of the steaming when the steam just condenses of the food latent heat is released released directly onto the food and able the food to be cooked faster rate so remember they're using the latent heat first one water become the gas then the gas with condensation back go where go to the food okay then this one is another question also from your textbook i think so so we go to write the equation first lah. i show you the equation so the first one this one got more one more step there's a water 25 degrees celsius they become the ice negative so we straightforward from the water go to the water first zero degrees celsius then water become the ice zero degrees celsius then ice continue drop become negative six so now the involve for the three uh three quantity of the heat then you plus together so there's a long method then this one is a calculation finally we get is a 3.608 times 10 power of three okay so this one is the final answer So uh, we finish our lesson. Now. So this one is what I want to show you for the 4.3. So the rest should be your work. You need to continue the tutorial uh, question. Then the next lesson should be the discussing for the tutorial 4.3. So we go to the new timetable already. Yeah? So you follow your timetable. Then you I will tell you the time. I will inform you like, before I want to start. Okay. Thank you for your watching.